Hey guys, welcome back to Monikro Custom Guitars and this is the CNC Guitar Build Season 2 where I show you my process from design to manufacturing an electric guitar on my CNC In this episode I'm going to talk about the tool pads from the back of the blank So, let's roll the intro and we can begin Hey guys, welcome back to Fusion 360 and as I said before, today we're going to have a look at the two bits of the back side of the body blank. Again, to minimize most of the tool changing, I'm going to start removing most of the material with the 3 8 upcut spectra bit and then finishing up with the 38 downcut spectra bit on most of the passes where in others I'm going to use a ball nose router bit now the first couple of passes is to remove material from the electronic cavity here, as, as I said, I'm using a 3 8 upcut spectra bit. I'm going with a 3 millimeter every time depth of cut and over 2000 millimeters per minute. Here, I'm leaving material on the side of the tool. So later, I will come, as I said, with a finish pass removing the rest of the material and leaving a nice uh, surface finish because in my opinion uh, a downcut bit leaves a much better surface finish on the wood Now, after that, using the same bit, I'm going to remove material for the belly carve, and this is a parallel operation. Same recipe, 3 mm depth of cut, and over 2000 mm per minute as feed rate.
After that, I remove material from the neck heel and this is to accommodate excess for the lower parts of the fretboard. Same recipe, 3 mm dot top cut and over 2000 mm as per feed rate. Now, to finish things up with this bit, last couple of tool pads, which are the ferrules for the neck balls, the, this little access for the input jack, and this little recess for the cavity plate, which I'm using the same bit, so I will remove most of the material and then finishing up with another bit. After that, a little tool change to switch for the down cut spectra bit and with that tool I will finish the control cavity which is this one a little bit more aggressive 5mm depth of cut and with over 2000mm per minute After that, we switch to a quarter inch ball nose cutter, and with the ball nose cutter, I will finish the belly carve contour. Here I'm using a parallel operation, and I'm having a one millimeter step over, and again, 2000 millimeters per minute as feed rates. And the last operation for the bone nose cutter is to finish up the contour of the neck heel.
Now I have the last two tool pads, which are the holes for the neck bolts. This is a boring operation. And here I'm using a 6mm router cutter. The holes are a quarter inch, so that's why I'm using a 6mm uh, cutter, because it's a boring operation. I don't like to use a drilling operation in this case, I still prefer to do a boring operation. And the last one, since for the plate I'm going to use machine screws, um, and I'm going to use threaded inserts, small ones. Here I'm doing, again, another boring operation, using, a, if I'm not mistaken, 3mm cutter. Is well, um, drilling holes for the inserts, for the threaded inserts. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you liked it, enjoyed it, and learned something from it. Now that I covered most of the tool pads, the next episode will be much more of a hands-on approach. For example, working on the body, or and working on the neck, fretting, sanding, finishing down, and at the end, putting everything together. If you're new to this channel and you're enjoying what you see, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be aware about my future releases. And to the new subscribers and to the old ones, take care and goodbye.